Word of Donald Trump's plan for peace in the Middle East quickly brought precisely the opposite. Indeed, as Trump laid out his proposal in Washington, Palestinians were watching carefully. My vision presents a win-win opportunity for both sides. In the White House, with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu at his side, but no Palestinians in the room, Trump laid out a dramatic plan. Significantly, it calls for the creation within Israel of a Palestinian state, marked here in green. And though a number of Israelis reject such an idea, the map has Netanyahu's blessing. This is an unprecedented and highly significant development. But most of the many details in the plan are historically untenable to Palestinians, including that the U.S. recognizes all Israeli settlements in the West Bank, though there's to be a four-year freeze on the growth of settlements to allow for more negotiations. Trump's plan would also give Israel sovereignty in the fertile Jordan Valley, and it would require Palestinians broadly to disarm and to dismantle the militant groups Hamas and Islamic Jihad. Then there's the fate of Jerusalem, a highly contentious issue. It's the city Israelis and Palestinians both want as their capital. On Jerusalem, Trump was clear. Jerusalem will remain Israel's undivided, very important, undivided capital. That brought sustained applause for the president, who added the Palestinian capital would be in eastern Jerusalem far from what Palestinians want and on the other side of a concrete security wall. Said Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas tonight in Ramallah, Jerusalem is not for sale. Said Netanyahu to Trump this afternoon, You have been the greatest friend that Israel has ever had in the White House. Okay, so Paul, where do things go from here? Well, the challenge in answering that is that few people think this will actually go anywhere, given how Palestinians seem to have quickly rejected it. Indeed, a number of critics have already dismissed the plan as little more than a diversion tactic from both Trump and Netanyahu, both with reason to try and change the headlines these days. Trump with his impeachment in trial going on, while uh, Netanyahu has troubles of his own in Israel, today formally indicted on corruption charges and facing an election in a few weeks. Nonetheless, Trump wants the Palestinian leadership to at least look at his proposal. But as you noted earlier, consider that in previewing it yesterday, Trump called the plan the deal of the century. Tonight, Palestinian Prime Minister Mahmoud Abbas called it the slap of the century. Andrew. Paul Hunter in Washington. Thanks very much.